I think we'd better go for Zoltan. Seems a little safer. Well, we're doing great. I don't think uh, slugs would be great for us at the moment. We arrive in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. Ah, intelligent beings. Ooh. Alright. I think we want to head up and try and hit that nebula. I like nebulas. There are some people that don't seem to like the nebulas all that much, but I actually really like them. You stumble upon some Zoltan military vessels engaging in combat training. Their energy shields are impressive, but you note how quickly you beam an ion weapon may take them down. That's right, ions and beams just uh, destroy Zoltan shields. Ah, store. And we've got some money to spend this time. We had money to spend last time, that's where we got our burst laser. But anyway, the human ship hails. My friends! Uh, my friends, please, there's nothing I don't have. And there's nothing worth waiting I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Oh yeah. Ho 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 ho. there's nothing really. Anything to sell? Could sell the Leto, but I would really like it for punching through uh, three shields. The we could actually still punch through three shields with this. Yeah, I think I want to keep it though. Despite how useless it is at the moment, I... Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's only going to give us ten scrap anyway, so... Not exactly worth selling. It's more useful to me on the ship than the ten scrap would be. I think I'm actually going to get this crew teleporter. Not because I'm going to use it, but because it's going to be useful against the final boss. And... We've just got the scrap to burn, so might as well get it. And we don't have drone control. Cloaking would have been nice, but... Oh, we can say, say, wait for the cloaking. I don't want to power that thing just yet. We don't need it at the moment, and we don't have the crew to use it anyway. Alright. Yeah, let's head up here. See what these guys have to offer us. The Mantis outcasts sometimes make the mistake of taking the Zoltan for easy game again. A scout moves into attack while a boarding party beams aboard from everybody transport again. You don't know how to manage to get past our Zoltan shield. They are in our teleporter room, so what we are going to do is flush them out like the vermin they are. But what we are going to have to do is head to the med bay. While all this is happening. And power down our shield and turn that on. Yes, they have three shields, so as I just said, we can still punch through three shields. Not very well, but we can. Just gotta time it. Okay, well, they're not in there anymore. Okay, they're trying to escape. That's good. Things are charging. Just gotta keep an eye on Do the micromanagement thing here. Okay, they're running in there. And in they beam. However, they are going to be killed by the suffocation damage before they get a chance. We'll open that up. Shoot their shields. All hit. That's perfect. Aim across there like that. Oh. Glorious. Suffocate them, I demand. Oh, that explains that. Yep, they're in my door room. That's not good. Okay, halberd beam's still charging. Okay, they're coming into the med bay. This is not good. Okay, everything's charged again. Okay, they can't dodge. Which makes them easy pickings. And finishing off the mantis. Pretty straightforward. The ship explodes, even behind three fuel, a missile, and 25 scrap. Oh dear. Okay, there's no oxygen in my med bay. There is now. Alright. Cremity. I'm beginning to remember. Weapons for you, sir. And then Alex in the shield room. Alright. Yeah, that's good. We're ready to carry on, I think. Should we head into the nebula? Actually, what I want to do is I power my engine. Just get a bit more evade chance out of it. What's the next one going to cost? 
What is that? 45, okay, yeah, not, not bad. Alright, that just increases our evade chance by a little bit more. We'll hit the nebula first. I think we're gonna then we'll try and head down. This nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire! Oh boy. Oh, they got a big ion weapon that's going to rip apart our Zoltan shield and then a laser that can't get through anyway. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just going to uh, do the usual tactic here, I think. Just wait for our halberd beam to charge. And then we are good to go. Come on, baby. Oh boy. There go the Zoltan shields. Hopefully that's the only attack they'll be performing. Now what am I going to attack now? I think I'm going to attack the shields, the oxygen. Oh yeah. If we time get that aimed right here, yeah, we could attack five rooms. Look at that. The system suffering. The rockship attempts to make contact. Alien vessel, cease your attack. We will pay. They offer us 5 fuel, 5 missiles, and 22 scrap. That is a very good offer. However, I don't use my fuel or my missiles that much at the moment. Hmm. I think I might be able to get more scrap out of them if I do not accept. Even though that is a very good offer. We're gonna decimate them. Our shields are incapacitated at the moment. I don't know why. And down they go. Giving us one missile, one drum putt, and 32 scrap. The better deal in my opinion. 10 more scrap. Well, the fuel would have been nice, but we've, we've got tons of fuel at the moment. Alright. We could hit there. Guess it doesn't matter either way. Ah, you sit down here. Just gives us more options. You receive a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp only a few jumps from us. Can you help? Of course we can. We hate Mantis, right? <laughs> Thank you. If you can give us a count on their numbers, perhaps we can get the rebels to help. 29 scrap and a quest marker on the map. Alright. They are over there. And that's, I guess, we... we where... Blah, blah, blah. Where we are going. Yeah, I think we'll uh, actually curve around. Hmm. I could probably buy another system for my ship. Oh well. A light asteroid field is entering the atmosphere of a nearby planet. A firework show on a galactic scale. There is little for it but to take in the ambience and program the next jump. Nothing. Alright. It's going to cost a hundred for that. Yeah. Let's do this. Maybe we can do it again. Oh, we're very close to being able to do it again. Yeah, I think I think we're making the right choice here, dodge chance. I normally don't go for evasion chance, but I think we'll try something different because seeing as how well last time went, and we didn't really power up our engines for that run. All right. Jump just in time to witness the Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In their final moments, they implore you not to get involved, but it's too late. Their attacker is already upon you. And they are armed to the teeth. <laughs> okay. Well, with that bit of evasion chance, we should be alright. Just the usual tactic, wait for the halberd beam. Well, their weapons charge up as well. Hmm. Looks like that beam and laser. Oh, what happened there? Oh, oh, we're charged up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hmm. Maybe I want to do that. Okay. Looking pretty good. We're going to have a ton of rooms here. Yeah. Alright. The enemy is powering up their FTL, trying to get away. And they're also going to—they're going to try and offer us one missile, one drone putt, and twenty scrap. Not what I need right now. I want more scrap. Maybe if you give me some fuel. 
<laughs> Since when have I ever accepted those guys? <laughs> really. Alright, we should be able to blow them up with this next burst laser. And we do so in great style. The ship explodes, giving us 38 scrap, a 1 fuel, and 1 missile. Again, a better deal in my opinion. Ah, a distress beacon. Well, then we might not be able to hit the quest in time. Maybe we can. Alright, so that's going to be one jump down to the distress thing. One up there. Might just get in there. And then we can hit that nebula and then we'll have tons of time, right? Alright, I'm going to risk it. Let's see how we do. Your jump interrupts the Sultan's security ship as it follows Mantis Pirate into an asteroid field. They message you. Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. Well, we are in Zoltan space, and we are Zoltans, so we are going to interfere and help the Zoltan ship. You overtake the Zoltan and catch up with the Mantis ship in the asteroid belt. Time to make some friends. Yes. The problem is it's an asteroid field, and they've got a, a bunch of weapons. Some missiles. They'll be able to hit us before our Zoltan shield goes down. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, come on, hell did... Ah! I did not anticipate that for some reason. Stay in my med bay, I'm coming to fight you. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to power down our engine to keep our burst lasers online. Okay. I bet that's what the people were telling me to do, wasn't it? Oh, now we're gonna have to wait for a burst laser to charge again. And that's the O2. Unfortunately, we will have to take down the Mantis anyway. Come on, burst laser. Okay. May as well use that to increase our dodge chance. And they're both ready. Unfortunately, can't take down the weapons before the Halber Beam gets to wipe them out. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the Mantis on my ship. Yeah. How are we doing? Oxygen slowly going down, but so are the Mantis. They can't return home. They definitely can't return home now. And down goes their ship. As you're salvaging the Mantis wreck, the Zoltan Security Patrol returns with three other ships. You quickly salvage what you can and set off before they can stop you for questioning. We receive one fuel, one drone part, and 21 scrap. Now we've got to heal up our oxygen before we... Ow, that was a bone click. <laughs> before we disappear... ...into space. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, you in there. Okay, power up the oxygen before you'll die. And get the leader back online, because what the hell. Ah uh, no, there's a store down there. Yeah, we're heading for the quest. Actually... Oh, I can't access my ship upgrade screen from inside this asteroid field, unfortunately. I think I said unfortunately twice. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. We can buy one slave for 44 scrap, which is overpriced. We can attack them, or we can ignore. Now, I know for a fact they're attacking <sighs> Might not have been the best choice, but we will give it a shot anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll have to use our Helber Beam and Burst Laser in time for sure this time to be able to get through. And the drones make very short work of our shields, and now they're down completely. Ay ay ay. We don't have to wait anymore though. Okay, that's that out of the way. Maybe we can hit five rooms. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, that might be good. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If it destroys, they'll all die anyway. Yeah, I'm actually going to accept that because I need more crew. And it's a slug. Not great for boarding, but not bad either. They can live in the engine room. Liam. 
Not a perfect name for a slug, right? I don't think they hurt us either. Maybe they did a little bit. Out of the way, we continue on. And yes, just in time for the quest. You find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately there's not much you can do. It'll be suicide to attack directly. We can leave before they notice you, or because we kept the Leto, we can bombard their key structures like a madman. Which we are going to do. We fire at the fuel depot, but a shot from the surface rips the missile to shreds. They must have a planetary defense system set up already. You try to get away, but a nearby patrol ship moves in to attack. We can tell that they've got four dudes and a crew teleporter. Okay. You're pretty much nothing for it but our usual strategy. Ay -ay 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 -ay. And so much for that Zoltan shield. Okay. They're about to attack us. And in they come. Okay. This looks a little bit better at fighting, so what we're going to do is, I guess, do that. Keep this powered. But first... Yeah, we'll just do the normal thing with our Mantis ships. That attacks four rooms. Pretty good. Pretty good. We'll send... So we'll send these, send these two to the mid bay. It's pretty good. Their oxygen's down. And our burst laser is still online, that's good. They're in the captain's chair. Not good. Seeing as their weapons are pretty much down. Perhaps what we can try and do is actually just uh, evacuate that area altogether. And hope the mantis leave before it gets too bad in there. Okay. Going to attack their weapons before things get too bad. Fortunately, the halberd beams are not going to be able to attack before their two shields come back online. Hmm. Okay, a bit of an oversight, but the med bay is now out of oxygen. That's okay. The door is fixed now. Open that up and close it again. Now their shields are down. We can blow them out of the water. With the patrol ship destroyed, you hasten to leave. It won't be long before the other ships catch up. We get three fuel, one drone part, and 26 scrap. Excellent. Just want to close up the doors, and I guess we're going to have to send in our dream team to take out that hull breach. In you go, chaps. I need to get the Zoltan out of there pretty quick as well. Yeah, it's repaired. And there's oxygen in there again. Whew, what a fight, eh? Actually, uh, change of plans. Slug dude, you can live on the helm and Matt will go to the engine room. That way we have extra power. I like my thinking. Yeah, now we can power everything, even our crew teleporter. Right, that's what probably what I should have done from the get-go. Uh, any stalls? No, just the exit. Can't go there. It doesn't look like we're going to have much chance to explore the nebula. Oh well. Guess that's what you do for getting a detour. That's fine, that's fine. So yeah, maybe I want to save my scrap just in case there's a curse at the stores or something. <laughs> Might be something good at a store, who knows. This long range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. When the FTL driver's charged, you can jump to the next sector. In other words, there is nothing here. Huh. Now this presents an interesting option. So the next turn the uh, rebels are going to take over the exit, but... We can actually explore these two systems and head back to the exit before these get overtaken by the rebels. We'll only have to fight the rebels at the exit. That is very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So interesting, in fact, it might be worth fighting them. I think I'm going to try that out. 
Uh, yeah. So we get our third level of shields. We only need one power because we're wasting power in our crew teleporter at the moment. Yeah. I actually feel pretty confident about this. We've got a pretty good ship here. So we'll give it a shot. So this one's slightly further into the system than the others. So we'll go here first. Now let's see what they've got. Your crew are constantly looking out the windows. There's nothing here. Please make it worth it. Oh, please be something here. Otherwise that was completely a terrible idea of me. You cross paths with an advanced scout of the rebel fleet, searching this section of the nebula for your ship. Balls. Is it worth fighting them? I'll give it a shot. What have they got? Well, they can't get through our shields. May, might not be able to get through our shields if we take them out quick. We may have to use a missile. Maybe. Oh, but they missed us, so maybe not. Okay, that's their shields down. You know what to do, Halberd Beam. Down go the weapons. And that, so... Just need to take out the drone bay. Get through with our laser again. It's not ready yet, but that's okay. Just want to wait. Go for their shields this time. And then across these three rooms. And down they go, without a single piece of damage to us. They give us one fuel, two missiles, and 36 scrap. Well played, gentlemen. But now, it's time to bring the fight to them. We can attack one more system. <laughs> we might be able to hit the store, even. Nah, no, no. We couldn't take on that many rebels. Okay. All right, we'll head to the exit. Why did I do this? I don't know. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. And oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll pretty much just have to. I think we'll use our Leto for the first time in a long time. Try and balance the odds a little bit. Oh, that's a big laser taken down. Good idea. Okay. Next up, we'll try that. Okay, that's the shield out of the way. And we'll attack these four rooms. Yeah, that's good. Alright, that's what I like to see. We'll try and time our shots again. They're busy repairing stuff. We're busy killing them. Okay. Probably could have fired the best laser a bit early there. Okay, that's the halberd out of the way. I mean the shield. Ready for the halberd. Down they go without too much problem. No time to salvage the enemy ship, you must jump away. They give us one fuel, so it's not actually even worth it to take them down to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we've got a very powerful ship here if they didn't manage to shoot us. Hmm. <laughs> Uncharted Nebula, eh? Hmm. You want to go to that one or that one? I think we're ready to take on some hostiles before the end, so we're going to head up, actually. Yeah. We'll see how we do.